Alright, today we're going to be opening and having a look at this combo kit by DeWalt. It's 20 pieces. As you can see, the boxes are just too big. I can't even put them on the table behind me. But instead, I'm going to have them next to me. I'm just going to open the boxes, put everything. We'll just stack everything up on this table and we'll see what we got in this kit. Firstly, just looking at this, there are, yes, a few tools that I have reviewed before on this channel. And that is sadly because I had all my tools in my toolbox stolen just recently. It's one of the most heart-wrenching feelings ever. I didn't have insurance to cover them, so I've just had to fork out the money and go out and replace all my tools. With that sad note aside though, we're gonna jump into this video and we're gonna have a look at all these tools plus a few more in here that I have yet to use or see before. So this kit here is a new kit that they've only just released. I purchased this from my local Sydney Tools and boy, am I excited to get into this. I mean, this is only one of the boxes we have and the tools we have in here are just insane. This is what six and a half thousand dollars gets you in terms of DeWalt tools. First thing we're just gonna grab out straight away is we got ourselves our 54 volt DeWalt grinder. By the end of this video, I'm gonna be able to fill out a bookcase with just all of these warranties and information books that we have with them. Here we go, here is the beast of a grinder. This grinder is just a 54 volt grinder, so your 18 volt batteries won't work on this. But trust me, the power you'll get out of this thing is insane. I have used this tool before, and I'm excited to have a brand new one. That's the that's the one cool thing. I mean, even though I'm replacing my tools and it kind of sucks, at least I'm getting brand new, freshly updated tools. It's a positive way to look at this. Now this is cool. This is something I haven't had before either. And what it is, it's just a battery air pump. So it's obviously not a tool I'm actually going to really need on the site. It's not something I would have actually bought by itself. But coming in the big case, you can just get it as an extra, and it's something I'm going to love to use. Uh, when I need to pump up my tires, when I need to pump up any footies. We have a little hose on this side here with the nozzle to attach to our car wheels. I can inflate my tires. Uh, if we open this up too, we've got a charger so it can actually be plugged into my car for a car charger as well. But obviously you can put your battery in at the bottom. And then on this side, we've got a blower. So we can use this as a blower if we want to walk around and have this alongside our other blower, which we have in our box here too. Uh, but you've also got some attachments on the edge here so we can use it to pump out football, soccer balls, the whole lot. Talking about air compressors, blowers, we'll open up this blower too. Probably the least exciting tool in the lot. It does exactly what you think it would. It's just a traditional leaf blower and air blower to blow rubbish away, dirt away, clean up a workspace. So here's the main body of the tool. We've got the easy to grip handle here. We've also got our power sitting on the back so we can change how much air is getting pushed out of this tool. We've got our two nozzles as well which just connect onto each other like that and then you can put that on your blower for that extended reach and then you can take it apart so it doesn't take up that much room in your toolbox. I think in here as well we will have a lot of little attachments to put on the end of this. All connected together these are just a few nozzles we can put on and it just directs air into a smaller confined space. We can put this straight on to our blower like so. And you can use either of these to get into those little tight, hard to access spaces. Maybe along door tracks or something. You can get all that dirt and that sand out to clear it out. I'm super keen to open this one. This is DeWalt's battery fixing gun. I have not used this one. I've not seen it. I've had a mate that I used to work with and he's he's brought one of these and he recommended it saying it's really good. I've also seen a few reviews on these and they seem like they're going to be a great tool. This thing is honestly just beautiful to hold already. Uh, it reminds me a lot of what we're about to open, the DeWalt framing gun, which I've used for a while. I can promise you guys, you will be seeing a review on this thing very shortly. It is a bit heavy, the top heavy, and it kind of like weighs down on my hand a little bit. Um, heavier than the Pazload finishing gun, which I've used beforehand, but that gun I had a lot of problems with. So I'm keen to use this one, see how it goes, and I'll let you guys have a good review on this when I've used it a little bit. It's a little bit bittersweet holding this tool again. I've been using my old one almost every day for the last few months. So it's kind of nice having a new improved one, but it's also, once again, bittersweet, sad replacing a tool that I previously had. I have done a review on this tool, and just saying right now, if you want to have a quick look in the description, I've got links to every review I've done on any of these tools previously. Do love this gun, though. This is a wicked tool. And you can slightly just see behind me, we're starting to get a collection of these DeVault tools built up here. I can't wait to everything's open and we just have this mammoth table of a display. This is DeWalt's battery jigsaw, which is just such a comfortable, easy to use tool. You've got an easy range of visibility to look around where your blade is. It's very well balanced, easy to hold. 
And once again, you're just filled with different settings that you can change the power for, you can change blade settings. There's so much user-friendly options to this tool. We've also got this vacuum extract, which we can slide into the tool, plug our vacuum on, and all our sawdust will get sucked straight up out of our way. Here is something I needed, DeWalt's radio. I've been using my old Milwaukee one for a while, so I'm keen to get one that uses the batteries I have out. I can't see the model number on it to say exactly what one it is, but you can just see by the picture, it's the um, T-Stack Connect radio and charger. I'm not sure if that narrows it down, but I'm definitely going to open it up and we'll have a look at this. Right, here we go. Here's the new T-Stack radio. T-Stack meaning you can stack it onto all these boxes you can kind of see next to me. Uh, we can open up this whole compartment here where you put your battery in there. And you've also got room to put your phone in. You've got an aux input, a USB port, and that's basically it with this radio. <laughs> you also have the wall adapter for your radio too if you do not want to use a battery. All right, this is awesome. This is another new tool to the collection. This is Dewalt's DCE 089 D1G laser level. So it's a 360 degree laser and it just runs on 12 volt batteries. As you can see again, this is with one of those T-Stack options so you can stack all your boxes on top of each other and it is remarkably very light. And here we have it, here is the laser level. So you can see you can slide a small battery in here and it comes with, I've never seen one of these before, this is a 12 volt 2 amp battery. You see how small this thing is, but it's made just to slide in through there. Um, our bigger batteries won't fit in there, so I need to make sure I keep this battery just to use for my little laser level. Just wanted to check it, and yes, the 5 amp batteries don't actually fit into the laser level. So yeah, you do need to keep that 2 amp battery to use for this. That's something else we've got. We've got ourselves two of these 5 amp batteries. And here we got DeWalt's trusty impact driver. It also comes with a belt hook with it and also just a little magnet magnetic attachment. You can attach to the side and leave some jewel bits in, which I love doing, but they can fall out quite easily, I'll be honest. The last thing for this box is we've got a DeWalt T-Stack box in here. And in this comes our hammer drill. This is a DCH333X2 hammer drill. Behind this box, we got ourselves two 9 amp 54 flex volt batteries. These things are huge, they're powerful. Basically the 9 amp means that it's got more juice in it or lasts longer than the 6 amp batteries. The only problem is they are quite big and quite heavy. So they'll be great while using on some tools, but I want to make sure I only limit using these batteries to my 54 volt tools. I don't want to be using an impactor or a drill with so much added weight on top of it. And we've also got ourselves one of their fast chargers, which obviously charges batteries extra fast. So that's our second charger if we include the charger that came with our laser level. This is the DCH333 hammer drill, which is an improvement on the previous hammer drill I've owned. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head, um, but it's, I have done a review on it. It is on this channel. So I'm keen to use this one and compare it to the previous model. Straight away though, I can say this is quite heavy but with the heaviness it has, it does have a lot more power to it. And I'm reading right now, it does have an anti-rotation system. So I might have to look through the book, see what that means, because I'm hoping it means that when you're drilling it, it's not gonna snap and bend your arms around, which is one of the worst things to happen while using a hammer drill. This thing is huge though, I've never used a DeWalt hammer drill the size of this, it looks like a beast. There we have it, that's the first box done, and we've still got another box this size to go through. And there we go, we finally got a better view of this table. I'm just gonna keep unloading tools onto this table, then I'm gonna set them up to look nice, and we're just gonna have a look at everything together. I think it's gonna be awesome just to see everything once it's all out of the boxes and all together. All right, the first thing in this box is we've got this big, heavy duty, hard back, it's even got wheels on it, a, a travel case. It doesn't have an extendable handle, but it does have the wheels on it. It feels like a very solid shape, it's not gonna fall into itself, and there's heaps and heaps of room in here to put all your tools, the drill bits and everything. So I'm gonna throw this one to the side for now. I don't think that's even gonna fit on that table. While we're at it, we've got an exact same replica of this carry bag. Well, I thought we were getting close to the end of the tools, but I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different boxes of tools here yet to go. First thing here is we got DeWalt's DCW600N router. Such a lightweight, easy to use, user-friendly router. I've used this before and I'm I'm very happy with it. It's got a lot of user-friendly attachments. It's easy to change your router bits on it. Uh, it's easy to change the settings and it's just an easy hold to use while routering. And this box has heaps of goodies. We've got 
sword chip output so we can attach this to a vacuum. We've got a guide we can attach to it and even a soft plate to put on the bottom of it. Next thing here is just an orbital sander. I've never used or felt one of DeWalt's orbital sanders before. This is the DCW210N. So I'm keen to see how it feels. This is cool, we got a little dust bag and it's rattling. I'm not sure if it's meant to do that. Here we have the sander. It's just an easy one hand hold. I feel like I've got big hands and I feel like it's a good size for me. So I'm almost thinking right now, if you don't have such of a big hand, this might almost be a bit too big to grip. Personally though, it feels perfect to hold. You've got one of my favorite DeWalt tools and that is its battery 54 volt circular saw. And when I get fussy about tools, it's these battery saws, which is one of the tools I use every single day and I want the saw to be perfect. I've used a lot of branded circular saws. I've used Makita's 40 volt, I've used Milwaukee's newest ones and DeWalt one I always go back to. I love this circular saw. So they've updated the color scheme on this since the one I brought. I've also added this rafter hook, which is such a good necessary thing to have. Also got a saw guide, just slides straight in there. I find this saw to be just so easy to hold and just so easy to look through and see where your blade is cutting as well. The box does provide... Something just fell. <laughs> the box does provide us with a belt, with a, with a blade. The box does provide us with a blade. This kit comes with two impact wrenches. We've got one medium sized one here, which I'll be using this on work sites for bolts and such. And then we've got this huge, heavy type impact wrench before, which I've never seen before. This thing weighs a bit. It seems like a, it seems like a beast of a tool. And I reckon if I use this for bolts, it's just gonna rip those bolts straight through timber. I'm keen to see how powerful this thing is, uh, but it might be a lot more useful when I'm doing more works on cars and more <laughs> industrial type of purposes. We've got a drill with the big handhold piece as well. I'm not going to lie, it actually seems quite comfy to use. I've personally always taken these off after buying tools and I've never used them before. Uh, most of that has got to do with just storage, having them in toolboxes. You don't need these handle holds, but it does feel quite handy having it there and it does stop your arm from getting ripped around if it catches. Same as our impact driver, we do have a magnetic drill bit to one side and we've got an attachment for a rafter hook, a belt hook on the other side. And the next thing here is our reciprocating saw. A big two-hand hold of a tool, because you just put your blades in the bottom there. This design does feel quite slick. It's got a good grip, and it's really easy and user-friendly. I just keep hearing stuff falling down from behind me. We've got ourselves a multi-tool, our oscillating tool. I've just completed a review on my previous one, and um, on that review I actually lost a lot of the attachments it came with. Didn't lose, but I broke a lot of my blades. So we've basically got replacement blades, sanding disc, and everything in this box, and obviously the main tool here too. I love this tool. This is one of my favorite tools by DeWalt. So easy to use, and it just it's such a great tool for so many different reasons. Here's DeWalt's planer, battery planer as well. I've never had a battery planer. I've always used a quarter planer, but I thought this would be a perfect time to upgrade and try out DeWalt's battery planer. Oh, right, so we've got a guide for the planer, our tool to attach the blades, and also another little uh, gauge to sit our planer blades on when we're attaching them. So all very important, I'm just gonna leave these to the side. And here's the planer itself. First impressions, it is quite, quite easy to hold. You can have your two hand hold on it, also you just use it one handed. Um, it's not really heavy. It's got a bit of weight to it, the weight I would have expected it to have, but I was Actually, it's, it's less than what I expected to have. I expected this to be a bit more heavier. Um, obviously, this is talking without the battery though. And we got there, the last thing in this box is a big torch from DeWalt. This is an 18 volt torch. It's, it actually looks huge. This looks like a big torch. I was not expecting something this big. So I'm keen to get some batteries in this and see how damn good of a torch this is. So here is everything set out together. You can see this is so much stuff and you can see why this kit was worth six and a half a thousand dollars. Can't wait to be using all these tools, trying them all out, and let you guys know what I think of all of these. I feel like after using everything here, I'm gonna have a very good review and really good knowledge on what the DeWalt tools really give you. If you enjoyed seeing this unboxing video, Click on this video here because this is another DeWalt unboxing video I did which contained DeWalt's battery miter saw. I reckon you enjoy it. Thanks for watching this. I'll catch you all there.